this short video, we'll demonstrate for you how you can create a digital ASCII basket in your online classroom. An ASCII basket provides an opportunity for students to anonymously ask questions or raise points for discussion in your class. As you can see, I'm in the middle of building a lesson within Sakai's Lesson Builder, and I've started to construct the Ask It Basket activity here within my lesson. In order to collect student questions or points for discussion within my Ask It Basket online, there are a few options that I can use. The first option is to add, by going to add content and scrolling on down to a question, and I could ask students to uh, leave their question in the short answer tool here. And of course, because it's an Ask It Basket activity, I don't need to connect this to a gradebook item, uh, but I could do that if I wanted to as well. And then I just hit save. And if I scroll on down, uh, students can leave this question or point for discussion here. This method is helpful if I don't want for all students to see um, the questions or points that their peers have contributed. In this instance, however, I do want um, all the participants in this lesson to see that. And so I'll delete this option. And the option that I can use when I want everyone to see the contributions of their peers is to go to add content again, and I'll go down and I'll use the comments tool. So now I've, if I scroll back down my lesson here, I have my Ask It Basket. I've asked students to use the comment tool below to contribute questions or points for discussion. And I provided them uh, a question to sort of prompt their thinking on this. And so they can add their comment here. So if I, get to, if I hit the Edit Comments button, I can actually make these comments anonymous. And this means that students won't see names attributed to the comments of their peers within this tool. I, as the instructor, however, would see who's contributed which point or comment for discussion. Um, and so that's an important consideration when we're developing this. So in the in-person classroom, you can draw out a question from a physical basket one at a time to consider and discuss as a group. In the online environment, you may want to use the forms to facilitate this discussion. And so here you'll see that I've created three different forms in order to facilitate this. So if I go back up in my course site to forms, and I click this, um, you can see that I've created three different streamed forms that folks can participate within this. And so what I can do here is I can actually link these forms to the Ask It Basket activity. So if I go to add content above, I can link a form or topic. And so I can link this um, Ask It Basket activity right within the lessons page. So if I scroll back down here, uh, it will show up here. And so students can self-select which conversation they'd like to be a part of that's most relevant to them. Um, and then I can facilitate the Ask It Basket discussion by contributing the questions that students have put in the digital Ask It Basket and then moderating and facilitating dialogue from there.